March is National Women's History Month, and it's time to acknowledge women and celebrate their accomplishments. Joining us to talk more about how to recognize the women who have paved the way, one woman who's also accomplished a whole lot, therapist and best-selling author, Keandra Jackson. Thank you so much for being oh, here. Good to see you time. again. Thank yes. You for me. So you say, you know, one way to recognize women who've paved the way and, and also look toward the future of women who will pave the way is to look at the word women in and of itself. Yeah, you know I like a good acronym. Bring acronym. it down. So do we. <laughs> Let's start with a W. Yeah, W is for wisdom acknowledgement. There's so many w women in our lives that we have to recognize and we have to celebrate. And it's not just because they've contributed to various fields, but also because they hold a really special place in our heart too, right? Mm -hmm. And they've contributed to our own personal, personal growth. So O stands for overcome challenges. We all have challenges. We all have to face them. So O. Oh, is to overcome challenges. I don't know a woman today who does not have challenges of their own. So we really need to focus on the resilience and the strength of those women. And this goes in regards to racial pay and gender disparities that happens in our lives because essentially they're setting us up for the next generation just to be a little bit easier. Yeah, and, and there's a lot on our plates, right, as women. Whether you're a working woman, you have kids, you have just a lot of responsibilities. So we see that Absolutely, often. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, and I think that goes even to the next one, which is mentorship, mentorship recognition. I love the fact that there's so many women in our lives who go back and really pour back into the next generation, right? They're not selfish. They're really sharing their talents, their gifts, their skills, their knowledge, their expertise to really give back to the next generation to set them up for success. Well, it's interesting you say that. Because because we've heard the term often and we use it as well, like women supporting women. Yeah. But it, it sounds nice, right? But women really do need to support one another in, in actuality. Absolutely. And really raise each other up and support one another. I think sometimes, depending on the field, some women feel like if you help someone else out, they're going to become your competition, mm -hmm. which is an unfortunate way to look at it. But that is the reality of how many women view things. Yeah, and that's the wrong mentality to have. You know, if we really hold each other accountable in a positive way, there's enough for everybody to succeed. There's enough resources out there for us all to win. And what about E? E is empowerment initiatives. Oh, mm -hmm. I love this one because it's really all about giving women their flowers who've taking that leadership role. They have spearheaded community building opportunities. They have done things on a local, state, or even a federal level to help as many people as possible, and I love that. Yeah, it's, it's so important, right, to build each other up instead of tear each other down. Absolutely. We have to do more of that 100% of the time. And lastly? Lastly is N. N is for notable achievements. I absolutely love this one as well, just like the previous one. But it really speaks to the fact that this needs to be a lasting impact, right? So it isn't just about National Women's History Month and doing all of the things for the month of March. But what about doing this every single mm -hmm. day and making sure we acknowledge the women in our lives every day for their efforts and their desires? And that also means our family, our friend groups, our community, and even the people we work with. Okay. So like you guys. So <laughs> Looking back in, in your own life, right, uh, give me someone who's personally impacted you growing up or even now, and then someone professionally. Ooh, she's putting me on the spot here. <laughs> I would probably say, one, my mom. Um, I don't tell her enough, but I do appreciate her, and she's probably watching right now. Uh, so she's tell going, her right now. Tell her. For watching and supporting me, and really just staying on this crazy journey that I have been on yeah. in regards to just my life journey, business, entrepreneurship. It has been a wild ride, and I appreciate her for just supporting me. And then I would probably also say, for professionally, there was a business owner that I have, which is also a business partner that I have. And really early on in my career, she held me by the hand. She gave me all of the tools on how to be a great therapist and what to do in building a practice. And I really appreciate her for giving me the tools early on. So, those two people definitely hold a place in my heart. Love that, all right. And we also can learn from people's mistakes and how people fall, right? And so we learn so much from all experiences out there. 100%, yeah. 100%. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you, you so again. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Great to see you both. We'll all right, see you soon again. We'll take a break. People have to recognize you guys, too. <laughs>